everyone. I'm here at the 2013 Star Trek Las Vegas convention, uh, and I have a very special guest I want to introduce you guys to. Um, everybody, Victor Brandt. <laughs> are we on? Hello. Hello. I it's can see myself. Mm. <laughs> Isn't that the best? Because then you can well, adjust and like I'll, figure out. I'll put my glasses going. on. It makes me look distinguished. So do you want to tell everybody who you were? In well, Star Trek? I was uh, in the infamous episode called The Way to Eden, and I played Tango Rad, the space hippie. The space hippie. And we took over the ship to find a planet called Eden. And here we are. I'll show you this picture. Oh, my God. He's got photos. They took family photos on the, on the holiday. And there you can see that. That's Dr. Severin and right me. And we're all making the sign of Herbert. Beautiful. I love it. And here's another picture of me chewing out Captain Kirk. And those eyebrows. Look at those eyebrows. I look like a oh, Lhasa Apsa. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we sang and jammed with Spock. Of course. And it became a campy classic episode. <laughs> campy, I like it. And uh, I had no idea when I was filming it that it would be a watershed for the rest of my life. And I'm sure it'll be on my, uh, my epitaph. Here lies <laughs> the body of Victor Brandt, also known as Tongo Rad, right. the son of the Catulian ambassador. Nice. That. Al now, Alex is a knockout. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, so, did you have any idea how big you were, like, how big Star Trek was going to be? Did Never. You, did you have no idea? Never had any idea. It was a job. I happen to have liked the show. And I watched the show, and then I went out to a local actor's bar, yeah. and hung out. And when I got the job, I was delighted. Yeah. I did two episodes. And here's the other episode I did. And guess what happened to me? I was a red shirt. My, I had hair. Oh, my God. What a handsome young man. Would you have gone out with me then? I totally would. I was 22 totally years old. Very handsome. You're older Very than handsome. I was then. I'm um, 21. Oh. Uh, First time being legal in Vegas. It's awesome, me, I by sound the way. like Bill Shatner. <laughs> you know what? Uh, Bill Shatner touched my bum when I did a photo op with him once. Um, and he grabbed your... No, he what? didn't grab it. His hand just kind of slid down, and then it was there, and it happened, and I was okay with it, oddly, right? The scoundrel. I know. <laughs> oh, man. So, well, I, I guess just... Somebody just stepped on your toes. I'll tell uh, you a quick funny story. Please, yes. Uh, a few years later, I got a part on T.J. Hooker. Should I be talking to you? Oh, no, no, no. Look please, at you. You're please. not going to cut this. This is going live, right? Uh, and I, the audio works, right? I, I got the part. He was directing the episode, so I got the part. And in the morning, I was on the set. We were at Universal, and I went up to him and I said, "Bill, do you remember me from Star Trek?" And he looked at me and he said, "Vic, I only remember the women." <laughs> Classic Shatner. Classic Shatner. Shatner, just like that. It's yeah. a new trend. He's a good guy. He Very is. serious about his craft. And so was are you. wonderful. Yeah. Gotta you, be. You gotta be, absolutely. And he was wonderful on what was that show? Uh, uh, Boston Legal? Oh. Denny Crane. Oh. I love that. Denny that was such Crane. a good role for him. He was brilliant. It was because he wasn't acting. He was just William Shatner. Well, he was a name. guy fighting Alzheimer's and and dementia. God, that was, yeah, I and it was brilliant. It was great. Anyway, that's some of the stories. And now I do animation. And I'm sure your friends who watch Metalocalypse, a.k.a. Oh, Death wow, Clock, wow, wow. know me as General Crozier. <laughs> Love it. And I kind of looked at, like this guy. That's a coincidence. Complete. But I've been doing that for four seasons, and we're about to do... I'm going to do a little... I wonder if I can do this, if I can say it. We're doing a one-hour special on the Cartoon Network Adult Swim, and it's going to be an opera of all the characters from Death Clock, a Metalocalypse, and I think it'll air in the fall. And working with Brendan Small is a jewel. He's the best. That's awesome. And so are you, Alex. Well, thank you so much. And thank you You know, for, uh, Alex, I want... Never mind. No, no, no. no. Say it. you got to say it now. No, no. I'm candid. teasing. <laughs> um, so at the end of my show, I always give everybody a good live long and prosper. Do you want to join? All right. Do it? Live long, Live long and, and prosper, prosper, everybody. And thank bye you so bye. much for joining me. Thank you. <laughs>